Hi everyone, you're watching If I Wrote for WWE. In this series, I talk about how I would write storylines and book superstars. In this episode, we'll be talking about Raw about the Raw Women's Championship. Now, as of September 22nd, No Mercy is set for a fatal five-way between Alexa Bliss, Sasha Banks, Nia Jax, Bailey, and Emma. If I was writing slash booking it, I would have Sasha be kayfabe injured during the match by Nia Jax to take her out for a few weeks. Bailey and Emma and Alexa would then gang up on Nia and take her out. I would have Emma, you know, get out of the way to let Bailey and Alexa go at it because they got some animosity storyline wise. And so Bailey hits the Bailey to Bailey suplex on Alexa, goes for the pin when Emma swoops in, throws Bailey out of the ring and gets the pin on Alexa. One, two, three, Emma is your new champion. Hashtag give Emma a chance. Then the next day on Raw, I would have Mickey James demand a title shot because she's been sitting on the sidelines for like a good year now, not really doing nothing. And so Kurt Angle sets the match for TLC as a ladder match um, between Alexa Bliss, Mickey James, Bailey. Um, so if I was booking that match, I would want to see like a Bailey to Bailey suplex off the ladder, maybe a Twisted Bliss off the ladder. That would be cool to see Alexa do, get some highlights for her. Hell, I think even a Bailey elbow drop off a ladder would give like Bailey some needed badassery. I'd, I'd be cool. Um, so I would have Nia Jax win the title though, because I feel like with Asuka coming back in January, she's gonna need someone legitimate to fight. And I thought like when Nia Jax was in NXT, like she at least was some legitimate threat to Asuka, more like more than so than like Bailey or Sasha could be. Okay, so I would have um, Nia Jax win the title though, and then I would have Sasha Banks and Dana Brooke challenge her at Clash of Champions because I feel like Dana Brooke, you know, she needs a boost because she hasn't really been doing much since Charlotte went to SmackDown. And like you know, with the passing of her boyfriend, like I would, I would put that like in the storyline, be like, you know what, like life is short, you need to go for it while you can. But like I would totally have Dana move to SmackDown after WrestleMania because she's not doing anything on Raw. Okay, but yeah, so I would have Sasha Banks and Dana Brooke fight Nia at Clash of Champions, but Nia would retain in January. Asuka comes back and challenges Nia for the title of the Royal Rumble. You know, it's Asuka, she never loses, so she wins the Raw Women's title. After that, I would bring up an old NXT feud. Bailey challenging Asuka, you know what, she wants the rematch. Because I don't, I don't, I don't, I'm not sure if she ever got, like, you know, Bailey Asuka 2. So I think that would be, like, a cool match to see. Um, and so, you know, um, at the, oh God, where was I? Yeah, fast lane. so I would have Asuka win, you know, by choking Bailey out like she did at the TakeOver Dallas. And so it'd be like, damn, Bailey, you even got choked out a second time. I don't know, it'd be kind of like a funny, but like also ironic, you know, end to the match. And so after that, so the, the day after on Raw, you know, Asuka demands competition. You know, she's feeling pretty good. You know, no one is ready for Asuka, she says. Nobody is ready for Asuka. So, you know, Asuka's like, you know what, Asuka, you're so right. I'm going to give you all the competition. So at WrestleMania, Asuka's fighting the whole Raw women's locker room. Um, so I think that'd be kind of cool. SmackDown did it at uh, la like earlier this year at WrestleMania. But I would want Bailey to almost get the pin. But like, so, but like when it gets to like the two count, like Sasha breaks it up and throws Bailey out of the ring. Like this would set up like a future heel turn by Bailey on Sasha, because like like um, Sasha just ruined Bailey's chance to end the streak and win the title at WrestleMania. That's like some. That's I think that is. Le I guess that would prove. Like legitimate heat, I know like not like real life heat, but I'm saying like I feel like that's a good enough reason for Bailey to turn heel on Sasha. <laughs> okay, so then like after Bail, and then after Sasha throws Bailey out of the ring on the two count, Oscar gets up and you know, chokes out Sasha, puts her in that like lock. I forget, I think it's called an Oscar lock or something, and it makes that makes Sasha tap. Um, one, um, then yeah, Oscar wins, retaining the title. The next day, so the Raw after WrestleMania, you know, Asuka's riding high, no one can beat her. And then who comes out? Boom, NXT Women's Champion, Kyrie Sane. Now, I have another video that I'll explain how Kyrie gets the NXT Women's Championship. So, I'm not going to explain that in this one, but just, just hear me out. So, yeah, 
Like, I would have Kyrie saying be NXT champion. You know, so she comes out, challenges Asuka. Uh, I said it before, it'd be like some Paige versus um, AJ Lee stuff, like from 2014. So, you know, okay, so she challenges Asuka. Um, Asuka accepts. Kyrie hits her with that elbow, with that killer elbow drop. Boom, one, two, three, your new Raw Women's Champion. And the end of the Asuka streak. Now, I feel like it's only right for that, like, a respected Japanese wrestler breaks Asuka streak. Because, like, Kyrie, she, she's been having some buzz coming off her since the Mae Young Classic. You know, she still has that new guy mystique. And I feel like if NXT can, like, protect her and keep her, like, in as high as regard as Asuka is, or, like, or, yeah, was, or still is, then, like, uh, then Kyrie is a legitimate um, option to beat Asuka. Hell, man, if w if NXT could even keep Kyrie undefeated like Asuka, and then that way, like, um, like this could work because Kyrie would be undefeated um, for like what eight or nine months, then she beats Asuka, and so like I feel like that would be a really good reason and excuse to end the Asuka streak. Cause like if cause if Asuka doesn't end the streak like in a big way. Then it's just going to seem so repetitive. She's just going to like bury all the Raw Women competitors. And I don't want Charlotte Flair to beat the streak. Because like, okay, I get it, she's a Flair. But like, don't give her like every damn accomplishment in the book. Like, don't make her like a John Cena where, you know, he has to win every title, beat every streak. No, like, like there's a lot of women on the roster. And other women are better fits to beat Asuka's streak. And I think it's Kyrie Sane. Okay? So that's how I would write the, wall, the Raw Women's Division. Thanks for watching. Click here to subscribe and click here to watch next episode. Thanks.